Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Devotion. We just got done getting the three fragments to open the fourth door. We are going to check out what's behind that door right now. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. That wasn't blinking like that when I was there last time. So that means we have everything that we need. Oh, shoot. Okay. So. Oh, oh no. Guys, guys. We just started the game already with the spooks. Fuck me, silly senpai. Dude, come on. I hear something in the background. I'm so scared to turn around. Do I turn around now? Oh. Bro. What the hell? Please don't. Oh, my God. Do I just go here? Please. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Do, 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 do. oh. What the fuck? Is she behind me? Whoa! Okay. Why am I so slow? Come on. Oh my god. She's right behind me. Guys, the hairs on my balls are standing straight. They're curly, but they're straight. They're straight curly. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I went through that door already. Oh god. No. No, why am I so freaking slow? Is there a sprint button? Please, please connect me with sprints. I'm with Verizon, but I need that sprint right now. Come on. I'm so goddamn slow. Shit, she's right behind me. She is teleporting her ass off. Go. Okay. Where the hell am I? What the hell even is my existence? I'm so freaking slow, guys. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I don't like these noises. I'm gonna go left because I do not want to go down that hallway. And right or left, go this way. This has got to be the way. Come on, come on. I smell it. Oh, yeah, it smells like crack of a stripper's ass. This is the way. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my big bones. Oh, shit. Where the hell am I? Am I going around? Please don't appear right in front of me. She can't go through walls, right? Shit, she can. She can. Okay, so we got to go this way. I'm fine with going this way. I like going this way. I'm left-handed. I like going left. Let's get it. Come on now. Oh, boy. My heart's actually beating really fast, guys. I wish the mic could pick up the heartbeat sounds. Because it's going da-dong, da-dong, da-dong. Oh. We're almost there. She's right behind me still. I'm so freaking slow, guys. Once that light starts flickering, that's when you know she's going to pop out. She's just going to go right here. How many freaking doors, man? I think I'm going the right way, though. I've never seen this before. Anytime I see a closed door, I get excited. I get real happy. Oh, there you go. Come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there, bitch. Yes. Come on, come on. Oh, give it a little tappy. Give it a little tap, 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 a room. Come on. Come on. I don't even know what that means, but close the goddamn door. Ooh, yep. Come on. That's the time where you gotta close that door ASAP. You gotta close that door ASAP, Rocky, right now. Oh yeah, you know in Asian games when they crawl? No. No, no. God, dude, that is so freaking creepy. I better be ready to kick her. Wait, what? You guys saw that, right? She had like a normal face. I wonder what the significance of that is. Because the whole time she looked dead. She looked demonic. She looked like the devil. But then right there, she looked like a human. Sorry, I'm not translating. I'm, I'm just reading this for myself. Ooh, that was intense. Okay, so she took a break from films and then she went back. Oh. She talking that shit, guys. She ain't talking light shit either. That's some heavy shit. 
家，还有家的样子。他呢，整天包红包给那个老师，花大钱去买那些怪东西，到处烧香，到处贴符，把家里弄得越来越邪门。That's what I was thinking. I mentioned that earlier in the last episode. 要我去向观音忏悔，你能想象吗？被自己的丈夫当成妖魔鬼怪。Oh, no wonder he kept seeing her like that. Because what we see the lady as is the perception that he has of her, but in reality, she's not like that at all. She's probably just like a normal person. Got it. Got it. I understand. I think. Okay. So nobody's gonna talk anymore. So the dad became so obsessed with like burning incense and you know having this mentor guy say all these spiritual things. You know, having that snake, that striped snake, bite that girl just so she can become healthy. And the mom was like, "Yo, what is you doing, baby? Like, what? I thought I heard a cry or something. That might just have been me." <laughs> she left him. Like she divorced him. She said, "I'm out," and just pew. Right out there, back into her actress career. I understand. Okay, that makes sense. So he just became like so obsessed with trying to get his daughter healthy that the wife was kind of like, "Yo, this is some weird ass shit. I'm out of here." And then I'm assuming that the daughter died. Something used to fit here. Okay. So let's put the carve relief fragment right there. Bam! But yeah, we're assuming that the daughter died of her sickness. And the god damn it's so bright. Flawless family. Wait, is this the end? What? Oh man. Okay, focus. That's my daughter. That's May. It's gotta be May. Oh my God. Bro, why is she standing there like that? That's actually really creepy. I don't like that. She's just looking outside. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? I don't know why that's so scary to me. She has like no eyes, just like a full silhouette. Yup, there she is. That's a hell no right there. <gasps> okay, man, I'm still looking like Slender Man. Can I get some justice for me? Like, can I look normal, please? Let me see here. Yeah, I think the daughter died. The mom kind of got frustrated that the dad was like so into all this like spiritual healing and stuff, and she left. She said, "I am out of here. I am bye bye." Mama, when will you come back? Mama, where are you? I really want Mama. Oh shit! What the hell was that?
family, there are three more people in my family. I have a dad, mom. like this. See a footage like that? Medical order, patients, x-ray, and blood work analysis normal. No physical ailments observed. Recommend referral to psychiatric department. His daughter's not a lunatic! Hello, Mr. Du. I am Mentor Hugh. I've heard. Mei Shin's condition sounds serious this time. Don't fret. Hurry and bring her over. We shall ask Sigu Ganyin for guidance, see if there's a good solution. Don't worry. Just do as I say. It worked last time. It will again. So these mofos basically like scammed him or brainwashed him into thinking that'll work. And that's probably what ultimately killed his daughter. We got these three gross ass looking dudes in mankinis just up here like this. So is this man like doing rituals by himself? I do think you humble fuck. <laughs> This is going way too fast. You guys got to read on your own. Every man for himself. Mr. Do see anything yet? Do you see the candle flame? That is Mei Xin's Yan Shen. What is its condition? Uh, it's all Gucci. The unsteady flickering of the flame confirms her soul's detachment. What else can you see? Any sign of Mei Xin yet? Then you must search for any trace of her. Try looking for a way out. Okay, we gotta find a way out with the screen looking like this? Actually, it might not be that hard. Sigu Ganyin will lead you further. I honestly didn't know Sigu Ganyin was a person that was alive today. Or in the 80s. I thought he was like a legend. Like a myth or something. We gotta debunk that. But apparently he was like a real dude. Let me know if you find something. Look for anything Mei Shin might have left behind. What are we trying to find? Okay, I'll take you with me. What do you see? A paper boat? Is the boat floating on water? The water is a sign of Sigu Ganyin's guidance. Now repeat as I chant. The water offers passage. The ferry offers transport. I request Sigu Ganyin lead the way forward. What about now? A river filled with water lanterns? Is there a place to pass? Is there a sandbank? The sandbank is the embodiment of Sigu Ganyin, manifesting as your path onward. You may proceed. Okay, so Sigu Ganyin isn't alive. They're just following the ways of Sigu Ganyin. Got it. Okay, so I was right the first time. I thought the way she was talking to him. Do I see eyes? I do see eyes. Every time I turn, I see eyes in the smoke. Do you see anything that stands out? Uh... Huh. This thing. This thing that fell over. Can I climb? No. Do you see a bridge? 
You're in close proximity. Watch your step. Keep following the lights. So instead of taking her to a doctor, this fool put on a blindfold, started seeing visions like this, and thinking that he could, like, find Dume Shin's soul. Instead of, like, getting her actual help. This is the fabled boundless stairway. Again, repeat my chants. I humbly invoke Sigu Ganyin. Descend upon this world in all your glory. Oh, I was supposed to sing it? I got you. Next line I will. Mr. Du, this is the part of hell where sinners receive... This is not concerning you. Don't touch anything. Make haste. Wait, this is the part of hell? You trying to tell me my daughter already went to hell? What did she do wrong? I know she didn't sing that well, but damn, she ain't got to go to hell for that. Look at these fools. Holding rocks for all of eternity. I'm not letting my girl do that. Look at this. These guys are literally pushing themselves against the rock so they don't fall. Sorry, my dudes. You guys fucked up in life. That's why you're here. Okay? Each and every single one of you. That's why you're all here. Except you, girl. Damn, with that peach. That Taiwanese peach. Okay, okay. I'm going to keep going. Very good. You've made it through. Who's that at the top? Is that Sigu Ganyin? Better not be. I got a few words for Sigu Ganyin. Because whatever you're making me do ain't working. My little girl is not getting better. What do you see? A tree? That is your tree of life. If you want to witness the will of Sigu Ganyin, you must first look inside yourself. As such, this path will take you... Damn, man. This text goes way too freaking fast. Or maybe I just read way too freaking slow. Alright, let me see inside myself. Let me see if I got what it takes. You have to find a way up. The path will lead you towards the deepest parts of your inner being. This is my inner self? So empty. So whack. I mean, I do see the pen stuff here. So duh, because I'm a writer. Which apparently are dog shit because I got rejected three times! That guy wrote that nasty letter. You guys remember that? Your one shen will be inside. When you enter, use your one shen to admit Sigu Ganyin's guidance. Yo, I'm tired of saying the name Sigu Ganyin. Next time I hear that name, karate chop down your throat. I promise you. I'm tired of saying that name. Do you see the entrance? After entering, you will be on your own. You must ignore anything and everything you hear. If you run into trouble, the mantra of Sigu Ganyin will aid you. See? I heard the name. I'm karate chopping the next person that I see. The hell is this? What the fuck? Hey. Hey. Du <laughs> Du Feng Yu. Look here, it's me. Been some years and you forgot me already? Do you still remember that little flower? The one I planted? She really liked that flower. Admired it day after day. Every time a petal fell, she'd replace it with her own nails. If it yellowed or wilted, She'd water it with her own blood. Watching on as the little flower finally bloomed. Oh, how precious it was to her. But of course, a little flower is still little after all. Even if it sprouts, it cannot bear its own weight. Eventually, it is still crushed. Pitiful. Isn't it? But we wrote this story, didn't we? We still have a chance to save her. Go on. It's just up ahead. Now claim what you deserve, your greatest hope. Dude, why is my shadow not coming with me? I'll miss you. I love you. I'll call you later. We'll go get some chilies.
No way, the flower bloomed beautifully. You can't say that, Daddy. You can't say that. Daddy did a good job. Dad treats me the best. Daddy is my favorite person in the whole world. No matter what. Okay. Everybody just calm down. There's only one daddy. There's only one zaddy. Okay? I can't be zaddy to everybody. Chant mantra. Okay. It's working. I thought it was all bull. But apparently it's legit. Taiwanese drugs must be that good shit, guys. Like, next level shit. If you want to go for a good time, I guess you gotta smoke whatever this guy smoked. Sheesh. Must be that 1980 stuff. Dume! I want a happy ending for her. I really do. I hope I'm wrong. But I don't think I am. About her dying. Please let me be wrong though. I'm always wrong. My beloved daughter, Du Mei Xin. Uh, oh my god. Text is going way too fast again, guys. Sorry. What? Is that a spoon? Dude! Bro, what is you doing? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Why would you do that? Yeah, this guy is insane. This man is nuts. He's nuts. That's a lot of nuts. I swear that was a spoon too. That thing did not look sharp. Where do I go? Do I go to the middle? Oh, I gotta go up those stairs. Okay. Why did he do that though, guys? I mean, I know he started off blindfolded and then he started getting into like his mantras and he just started meditating. But how did it go from that to all of a sudden getting a weapon from your imaginary daughter inside this world and then slicing your own neck? How does that work? And then she has something else. No, oh, man, I'm tired of taking these things. I'm done doing things, man. I don't even know why I'm walking towards here, but I'm tired of doing it. What is it? It is a sharper object. Looks like a freaking crowbar. All right, whatever. You want to do this? Let's do this. I offer my tongue? Bro, not my tongue. How am I going to be doing stuff like... You know what I mean? It's my tongue! Oh! I got that long tongue too! You know your wife's gonna be missing that! Bro! That's some quality tongue right there, that's some cow tongue! Bro! How long is that bitch? That's the world's biggest tongue! Father of the year, guys? I think so. I know my dad wouldn't rip out his tongue. He just tell me to man up. He's like, oh, you sick? Man up. Man the fuck up. I'd be like, yes, daddy. Okay. I don't know what else I'm offering, but I know I'm not going to like it. Final prayer. Oh, man. If she don't live from this, man. <laughs> this dude's not gonna be able to like use his tongue for all the right things. What 
What is that? What kind of weapon is that? It's scissors. It's scissors! Oh, scissor me timbers! What am I gonna do? Cut my dick off? My beloved child, Dume Shin, is trapped in the cycle of karma. Her wings clipped. Accept the oath of her loving father, Du Feng Yu. I offer up my blood. May it let her take flight and soar the skies. Didn't you do that the first time? I'm pretty sure blood came out. <laughs> Bros. Ugh. Just making my own hand cringe. Ah. God, my hands are sweaty now. Just thinking about that? Like the whole thing going through? Nah, man, I'm good. Merciful Sigu Ganyin. Comfort something. Comfort all beings, ease all suffering. Comfort all beings, ease all suffering. I didn't really do that, right? That was all in my head, yeah? So this is the apartment now. Or maybe I'm somewhere else. What's this? Guan Ling Rite. Spiritual linking. The Guan Ling Rite is a ritual that has been passed down for centuries. With the guidance of a spirit medium, it is possible to chant an incantation and enter the spirit realm. The Wan Chen Palace resides in a person's inner conscience. By observing their own Wan Chen Palace, one can balance their soul, strengthen their aura, and then predict and shape their fate. To initiate the Guanling Rite, one must first write down their address and horoscope. The spirit medium will answer any questions and guidance to host the intended answer. Common questions include asking one's career, fortune, and health. If someone is seriously ill, they can also ask for healing and recovery. You know what's funny? You know how he puts on, like, the blindfold? It's funny that they're asking for the address, so, like, as you have the blindfold on, they go to your house and rob you at your address. So you're, like, chanting something as the blindfold's on, and then they're at your house robbing you. I don't know why I thought about that. I don't know why that was the first thing that I thought of. But, um, yeah, we really didn't cut our tongues out or anything. What the hell am I, though? Why is it so weird in here? Like, it's so messy. It looks gross. Ritual consultation note, seeing a sandbank equals related to water, lotus equals linking the subject to the souls of the underworld, seeing the lotus sink under the water equals subject must be immersed in liquid, offering blood in a bowl equals pour the wine into container, no water. Mentor suggestions, wine warms the body, forces out the cold, a wine bath is good for the body, bathing in the brew promotes medicinal effectiveness, allowing it to flow through the meridian system, Sigu Ganyin will send the spirit serpent into the body of all who bathe in this wine spreading its power to heal all physical ailments. Suggested ritual steps. 1. The invoker covers his eyes with a red cloth, which lets him connect to his soul in the spirit world. 2. Prepare a bottle of pure wine. Do not mix with water. Sorum-based liquors are optimal. 3. Place spirit serpent inside. 4. The invoker offers up his blood in a container, a soul for a soul. 5. Place subject in container. Consultation recordings. Wait. Did I put my daughter inside of a container with a snake? That's what it sounds like, because those are the steps. Okay, hold up. Let's listen to this. Uh, open this up. Put this bad girl in. Hi, 
，拜托拜托，喝了。老师。嗯、oh. ，我想确认一下，你告诉我的方法，这个有用吗？ Oh、God, 有有有，一定有。I thought that was it。我在念经，可是那女的还是不肯跟他离婚啊。我我们有都有在一起念了。我们念这个要真心诚意啊。真的有念了，有缴钱。那到底 ？Why is it staticky？ 你这个神棍，那个符根本没有用啊！先生，我有录起来哦。十年来，我每个月都缴这么多钱，大小事都办。你不是说植物观音什么都帮吗？我爸也相信你，后来才没去做化疗。你明明说可以多活两年的，现在人都走了， wow. 你最好解释清楚，不然我一定告你。These are all bad. Like there's not one positive story. So we can assume the worst with our own daughter. Is that it? That's it. Okay. That's really it. Where do I go? Oh. Oh man. I'm getting nervous. Like I'm really getting nervous. Is that noise? It's like a dog noise. Whimpering too. You guys hear that? Yo, what is going on? Come on, come on. Wait, Bu 先生。好，您听我说，您先把持酒准备好。你家有没有浴缸？有，好，那就在厕所就可以了。叫美心听话，照我说的做，一定会好。别担心，要坚定，心诚则灵，你知道吗？喂，你好。哦，杜先生哦。啊，是，我知道，我知道。这个哦，我跟你说，你不用紧张，这种事情急不得。这个仪式本来就是亲者当日，重者七日见效。你要对美心有信心，你要有耐心呐、啊，不要去打扰他，让他慢慢泡，不要开车。This story is so up. 好，那你有问题再打来，我都在，我一定帮忙啊。I don't want to look in the bathroom. I really don't. Oh, my heart's beating fast just thinking about it. They're not even answering now. I don't want to look in that bathroom. Oh God, this can't be good. Shit. What's this? Everything's a mess too. Look at this. Oh goodness! A drawing done by Mei Xin. Okay, let's see what else we can see before we go inside the bathroom because I think that's all we can go to. I think we have a dog too. Is it alive? Cause there's a dog bowl, unless that's for me. Whew! I'm dreading going into the bathroom right now. Is there something here too? This is probably where he did his prayer too. Is there like a blindfold or anything? No. <sighs> All right, come on, we can do this, guys. Ooh. What is this? Why does it look like hand marks? Oh, I can move. Okay. September 29, a rainy day. Mommy hasn't been home in a while. I miss her so much. 
I try not to cry, but when I hold it in, my chest starts to hurt. One day, even my breathing trouble started up again. Daddy says we aren't visiting the doctor anymore. Tomorrow we'll go see Mentor Hu, and I'll be fine again. But I bet Daddy doesn't know I already know how to make myself feel better. I managed to fold so many tulips already. Just a little more and I can fill up my whole room. It makes me sad that Daddy's always so busy praying, he doesn't get time to fold them with me. If I can make as many as there were in the storybook, I'll surely be cured of my sickness. When I'm better, I'll keep practicing my singing until one day. I'll fulfill my birthday wish and become a famous superstar. Dad and Mom can sit together and watch me sing on TV. We can spend time happily in the living room. I really love those times. My dreams end here. Oh, wow. Yeah, guys, I think that's how she died. She died in that bathtub. The dad thought he, that he could make her better by just filling up the bathtub with the liquid, have the snake in there. Don't go in the bathroom no matter what. She probably needed his help. But he was like, nah, I can't go in there because they said don't go in there. That's what happens, man. People get so caught up in that shit. That they don't see reality anymore. They think that spiritual healing and, you know, mantras and incense burning and all that stuff can save them. That's what happened to Dume Shin. She got sick and something wasn't working when they went to the doctors. So the dad was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do my own thing. He found some people and he thought that they could make it work. The mom eventually thought that the dad was just going cuckoo, and then she left. At first, I thought that she died, but I think that she just left him, and that's it. He saw her as, like, some evil person, but she's the one who saw him for what he really was, and he was the one who was really evil. He's the one who had custody of the daughter. Did they ever explain that? Uh... All right. Papa, Daddy, let's go home. That's it? Okay, that's the real ending then. Damn, that was good. That was a great story. Good pace and everything. It kind of reminded me of that one art game that I played before, Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear. Every time you'd go inside of a door, sometimes you'd look behind you, the room just shape shifts. It was kind of like PT too, when you just keep going in the same room, but it's different every single time. PT really inspired a lot of games, but I'm not going to say that this game was like a PT clone or anything because this game is its own thing. And I know about like the controversy that this game had. Um, as of right now, the game is not even on Steam. So I bought this at the right time. Because I guess there was like some controversy with the art in the game and then something about like the Chinese president and they, they were just being like really offensive. And one of the artworks inside of the game, I'm pretty sure that I saw it too. It was inside of the little girl's room in one of the years that you go into. I think it was like 1980 or 1985. There was like artwork on the wall and it was like really offensive to Chinese people. So they just like bombarded like the Steam page and had it taken down. Or actually they didn't have it taken down. I think Red Candle Games actually took it down themselves. And I don't even want to touch on that subject, but hopefully they can find a way to re-release the game and just take the offensive content out. I don't even know why it was in the game in the first place because this game is just beautiful on its own. It was 15 bucks on Steam and I honestly think that it was worth it. It was kind of short. I feel like the pace of it was slow when you walked. Like when you walked around, I feel like the guy moved really slow. But I guess they did that on purpose because there were so many things that you had to pay attention to. 
So they were like, okay, we got to make them move slow so they start to see things. Like, sometimes there'd be, like, a doll in the room with me, and I didn't even notice until, like, 30 seconds later. So I think that they made the character move slow on purpose. But overall, guys, this game is probably one of my favorite horror games of the year. You guys know I get really jumpy, and the jump scares were really good. There wasn't that many, but all the jump scares were really well done. One of them even pissed me off, the one where the lady was inside the hallway in one of the rooms. What's this? Can I move around? No? Interesting. But yeah, guys, in conclusion, my final thoughts with this game and my final analysis of this game is that Dume Shin was alone for most of her life. Like, she had a mom and a dad, but I think that since the mom was an actress, the dad was a writer, and he was obsessed with writing, I think they didn't have time for Dume Shin, and then she got sick. You know, she started having breathing problems. She had anxiety. She had, like, performance anxiety. And then she started to get worse. And the dad became obsessed with, like, rituals and gods and doing all these different things to make his daughter get better. But it was only getting worse. And as he was doing those things, the wife kind of got upset with him. And she basically thought that he changed. And that's why she was leaving. That's why at the very end, you saw her with, like, an umbrella and a suitcase. Because she left. She left the family. It was just Dume Shin and the dad. And he kept going with, like, all the rituals and stuff like that. But he basically got scammed. And that's how his daughter died. He just kept believing that he could get her better by doing all those things. But it backfired. She died. And that's what happened in this game. Let me know what you guys think about what I just said. Let me know if you guys have the same thoughts. Let me know if I'm missing something and I'm not completely getting the story. But if you guys enjoyed this whole series of Devotion, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>